My name is Chris Nanaroni, and I'm on a mission to find the best food in every city, town, or hamlet. Today, I'm looking for the best burger in New Orleans, Louisiana. This town is serious about food. I'm going to finally eat myself into a coma. And if that happens, I'm counting on you, my loyal fans, to sneak gravy into my IV drip. I'm going to talk to the people. Lettuce, the tomatoes, stimulate my taste buds. Stimulate your taste yes. buds. Seek out the chefs. How many times people tell you you look like Jerry Seinfeld? I get it all the time. You do, don't you? Yeah. You can make a fortune. Five local judges. Each taste bud is taking a bath right now. And determine once and for all who makes the best burger in New Orleans. It's a New Orleans-style burger war right now on Best in Show. New Orleans may be home to hundreds of years of culinary history, but the burger scene here is young and reckless. Looks like I'm going to be playing Russian roulette with enough ground beef to take down an elephant. I'm looking for, like, the best burger in New Orleans. you like burgers? I love burgers. What do you love about burgers? They fill you up, they cheat, they and they're good. Are you guys in the band or? I play pre-World War II blues and jazz and jug band stuff. Pre-World War II? Yeah. Is there a following for pre-World War II music? We like it. I'm uh, very, very hungry and I'm very out of shape, but I really want to have a really good burger. Mm, probably would say the company burger. It's pretty darn good. Do you work for the company? No, I do not. Are you a company woman? No. 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 What's your best burger? I like bacon, chili, onion rings. I like all type of things. Let me give you one of those right yes, there. Sir. Okay. Outside of the quarter, uh -huh. if you're willing to take a little drive, there's a place called Cowbell. Place called Cowbell. Feels. Feels. Feels grill. I just ate a Feels grill last week. Thanks, Roy. Feels. 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 Feels grill. Yes. It even rhymes in it. <laughs> you come in, you have a variety of selections from bun to meat to cheese to bread. You fix it the way you want it. It's always perfect. Phil's Grill has been emancipating the people from their oppressed lives under burger menu tyranny since the first one opened in 2007. The people are now unrestricted to imagine and create their own burger. Freedom at last! I think that there would be 2,500 different burger combinations. 100,000. Over a million. 30,000 different combinations of burgers, so it's up for everybody. Actually, 1.3 million. I'm only on about number 50, so I got a long ways to go. This Jerry Seinfeld-looking burger savant's name is Phil Degree. He's behind the build-it-yourself concept. And get this, Phil has mathematically constructed a menu with 1.3 million different burger combinations. He's like the Stephen Hawking of ground beef, which is way better. From Angus to alligator, turkey to a fat city, I mean, from the gluten intolerance to the gluttonous, everybody can be satisfied. I'm looking for the best burger in New Orleans. Phil, do you have it? We have the best burger in New Orleans. What is the best burger in New Orleans? It's 100% ground filet. Mm -hmm. Spell that with a PH. No, you don't. You spell that with an F. Did you not go to school? <laughs> I spell most F words with a PH. Do you? How many times people tell you you look like Jerry Seinfeld? I get it all the time. You no, do, don't you? Yeah. You can make a fortune. I can hire you out for a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks isn't going to make me a fortune. So you make everything fresh right in here? Yeah. Seriously, how do you know that there's over a million combinations? Actually, I can't even do the math. But I got a guy. You got a guy. A very good friend of mine is a uh, statistician. So I call him up, and I'm like, how many choices do you think I really have on? Phil, send me the menu. I got a formula. This is the way he talks? Yeah, this is the way he talks. <laughs> so six hours later, he calls me back. He goes, 1,346,847, and I didn't count the signature burgers. 100% ground filet. Right. It's ground specifically for us. You can't be the best burger if you're not at least a half. When the judges come in here, it's going to blow their mind. It's the best burger in New Orleans. A little lettuce? Mm hmm. What is this sauce you put on there? This was a, a garlic aioli. Garlic aioli, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. A little Havarti cheese, which is a, a soft Danish cheese. And those are the onion strings. You put them on the burger or are they a side? I oh, know. Well, you could get them as a side, but we're going to put these on the burger. I love but these. I, I cooked a lot because I know you're going to like them. It's heavy. It's hot. It is heavy. When it's it came out, you gotta drop it. <laughs> That's looking pretty. Wow, look at that. What do you call this burger? This is the filet. Did you say that earlier? Yeah, I did say that earlier. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention anymore. That's all right. Fried onion strings on mm. top of that. Dang. One beautiful burger, my friend. The best burger in the world. That is gorgeous. I want to go sit down and rip this thing apart. You gonna join me? Absolutely. Well, let's go get her done, buddy.
<laughs> Is it good? Yes. yes. I'm having an epiphany. An epiphany that this ground filet burger is friggin' delicious. The 100% ground beef patty is 100% awesome. And the fried onion strings are 110% awesomer. My brain hurts. Too much math this episode. Phil, this is an outstanding burger. I like it a lot. But Phil, it's not up to me. I'm looking for the best burger in all of New Orleans, and is this the best burger? This is the best burger in New Orleans. You're sure? I'm sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to take down the other I'm not guys. Scared. Who that? Or, I don't know what. Who's that? Who's what? <laughs> oh, what? what? You don't know what a who that is? I don't know what a who that is. Uh, is that like pecan wood? What's a who that? No, it's not pecan wood, man. That's the who that nation. Saints, <laughs> Super Bowl champs. Nation? Okay, whatever. Coming up on Best in Chow, a burger master who doesn't mess around. You ever, ever run out of anything? Well, uh, actually, last night, we shut down. And later, find out who will win Burger Wars New Orleans. Each taste bud is taking a bath right now. I'm in New Orleans, Louisiana, looking for the best burger that Crescent City has to offer. The ground filet burger from Phil's Grill was a build-it-yourself bombshell of meatacular proportions. Attention, vegetarians. You may wish I was finished, but this party is just getting started. I'm a little bit tired. I've been walking all day. I'm trying to get something to eat. I'm hungry. Man, everybody's looking for that right now. You like burgers? I love burgers. What do you like on your burger? I like anything and everything. I mean, there is no bad burgers. You can put shrimps in it if you want. You can put all know. kinds of I'm things. I'm not a big seafood Yeah, guy. but you can put all kinds of things in hamburger. Uh -huh. Swiss cheese, lettuce. You know, lettuce, that's kind of vegetarian. Now you're getting into a salad. Lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions, everything. Are you vegetarian? No, no. Stimulate my taste buds. Stimulate your taste yes. buds? Yes. You're working out, man. Yeah, you're huge. Look at how big you are. You're big and strong. I'm working on it, man. You're working on <laughs> it. Oh, I got to go to my sir. second job. What's your second job? I'm an EMT. Are you for real? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, you stay close by, because if I eat too much, <laughs> I might need your services. I'm not getting any help on the streets. So this is Dolphasar Shantison. He's a voodoo priest, and he's going to connect me with some good-time spiritual beings who know a thing or two about where to find a good burger. Zara, how are you? I'm good, Chris. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. What a lovely place. This is all about voodoo, is it? Very much so. So someone like myself, I don't know anything about voodoo. I don't know which one to go to because I have this specific problem. I'm looking for the best burger in New Orleans. Can oh, one of these guys figure it out for me? That's easy. That's that easy? Be, that would be the Get A Spirits. The which spirit? The Get A Spirits. We kind of collectively call them the Funky Bunch because they like to party. The Funky Bunch, I like that. They like the party. So if you're looking for a good burger or a good party, yes. they're the ones to go to. I'm looking to. for both. So can I ask them to help me on this quest? You can ask them to help you on the quest. So what am I doing? So I'm going to knock on the ground three uh, times. One, two, three. That hurts. Say your prayer. Almighty Gettys. Is it Gettys? Is that right? Get it. Get it. Almighty Getty. I am hungry and I need the best burger in all of New Orleans. Is that it? That's pretty much it. Now I can go out and find the best burger. Now you can go and find the best burger. I can't explain it, but I feel as though the spirits are guiding me somewhere. Hopefully to New Orleans' best burger. Thank you. Thank you. Company Burger claims to own the conversation about burgers in New Orleans. So... It's time I had a chat with them. It's a no-brainer. It's the best burger in town. It was juicy and two patties and two pieces of cheese and great pickles. It's a little greasy. You have to squish the bun to get it in your mouth. It's good. This is the company burger's big cheese, Adam Biederman. He has a specific vision for his burger. You can get it his way or you can get the out. Seriously, he doesn't mess around. We just have a very specific way of doing things, and it's a very focused product. And our thing here is we, we you know, one that comes in here to experience us, to be here to have fun, have a great time to eat great food. Adam, 
What a great place this is. Thank you, man. Welcome to New Orleans. Welcome to Company Burger. Yeah. What's first? What's going on? Well, what are I, we doing? We got a, a bun that just came into the, the restaurant about 20 minutes ago. This is a bun? It was baked earlier today. It's probably no more than five or six hours old. We've got some butter on it. Tell me about your patties. Now, I understand you put two patties on? Yeah, so the Company Burger is two, three and a quarter to three and a half ounce patties. It's ground in-house. We've got our beef patties, and we're going to, we simply season with just salt. Okay. We're going to use some of the reserve fat. We're just going to... That's bacon fat. That's bacon fat. We're going to throw down our patties. You know, shaved onion and, of course, the American cheese. American cheese. American cheese. The bottom patty is going to get cooked a little bit more than the top. All right. The, we have to have the stack. Yeah. And then everything will melt down into the second patty. So I see here, everything is fresh here, everything is done right here in-house. Do you ever, ever run out of anything? Well, uh, actually, last night, we uh, at about 7.30... We, uh, we ran out of buns. Oh, Most, no, then what happened? We, we shut down. Uh, my baker's one guy, literally one dude. What are you going to do if something happens to that guy? That kind of freaks me out. I wake up in the middle of the night and be like, oh, Is he okay? I hope the baker's okay. <laughs> but, uh... The deal is just the company burger. There's no lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, I think you can bring your own if you want to, but I don't think it's in the house. It's always perfect without it. I don't tell anybody how to do their job, and we know how to do this best, and that's just what we do. We're not done yet. So hey, what's we need, uh, we need our homemade bread and butter pickles. I love pickles. Addictive. So this is, uh, you're, you're going to eat all the pickles. I'm going to eat them all. You're not going to have room yeah. for the cheeseburger. Put that away. Pickles on the bun and then. Pickles on the bun, onions. Just close it up. That's it. This is it. That's the company burger. That's all. That is a pretty looking burger, Adam. I cannot wait to rip into this thing. Wait a second, go sit down. Dude, I'm ready. Let's go do it. Every component of this company burger has its own gift for my taste buds. Composed with masterful precision. It's simple, yet sophisticated. The twin patty's richness is gracefully balanced with the house-made bread and butter pickles sweetness. If this is really what burgers tasted like in the 30s, we've devolved as a society. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's what I'm looking for. Let me for. get one more. Oh, my goodness. This is a great burger. Thank you very much. But listen, Adam. You know why I'm here, right? I do. This is a little competition thing I got going on. Yeah, let's do it. I love competitions. You do? Oh, yeah. Is this the best burger in New Orleans? This is the best burger in New Orleans. Hands down. Hands down. You're not worried. Not worried. You're going to take him out. We're going to crush it. You're going to crush it. I'm going to finish crushing this guy. You finish crushing I'm going to crush gonna watch. Best in Chow, this episode could use a little more cowbells. You're not going to like this. It's going to taste like a broken nose. Yeah, what the hell does a broken nose taste like? Have you ever broken your nose? No, look at this thing. Is this thing ever look broken? Beautiful. I do this poetry, uh, pedestrian poetry, so people walk by, I get words, make a poem, and then I recite it at the end of the day. Can you do me a burger poem? Sure. Would you would like one? Yes, I would definitely like one. Juicy, does that work? That's a fun word, juicy. Loaded. I like my burgers loaded. Burger world. Burger world. Beef. Dead meat. Who has the best buns? Bums with fingers that resemble french fries. The deal is to find the best burger. Burgers. Double quarter pounders are drowned in the surrounding burgers. Juicy. Juice is loaded with the truth of flavor. Sumptuous. Sumptuous. You are amazing. You are amazing. Thank, Thank you so very much. I'm looking for the best burger in New Orleans, and so far, the Big Easy has been good to me. The ground fillet from Phil's Grill was meat-tacular, and the company burger was beautiful in its simplicity. I'm ready to assault this next burger like a noble lion taking down the gazelle in the African jungle. It's nature, people. Get used to it. I'm looking for the best burger in all of New Orleans. Can you recommend a good place? Yeah, Cabo. for a really, really good burger in New Orleans. Can you help me? Can I go to Cowbells? I need some Cowbell. What do you like over there? I love places where I can get them rare. Rare? Like really rare, rare? Like really rare. Like pink rare? No, like red rare. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you, a vampire? Okay. What's the deal with the hair? Well, I, feel I need to bring spring in. What do you love about Cowbell? The burgers are really gigantic and juicy. Really gigantic and juicy. So gigantic. So and, gigantic. And they put strawberry on top of the meat, and you just don't know there's surprises inside. There's a surprise inside? Every little layer. I like the meat between two pieces of bread. Well, that's a good start. Okay. The meat, very high grade, free range. Free range, even? Yep. Cows are just wandering Grass around? Friend. Aimlessly? Yeah. Aimlessly. That's dangerous. No, it's, dangerous. it's not dangerous. It's good. You don't want cows running down Bourbon Street. Oh, we will not do that. Do you? Oh, yeah. I'd love like to that. see that myself. That would be a lot of fun. 
Located on the historic Oak Street, Cowbell was converted into a burger joint out of an old abandoned gas station. Well, I'm ready to fuel up. I love it. It's fun, it's different, it's very comfortable, and it's a lot of, like, interesting little things for you to kind of look at. Love it. Need more Cowbell. Need more Cowbell. <laughs> Upon appearance, it may seem more likely that Brack May operates a bonfire at Burning Man rather than his own restaurant. But from what I hear, this place is as legit as it gets. That's it, brother. Play that thing. Well, New Orleans is a food city. It's a city of traditions. It's a city of families. And, you know, what's the biggest tradition you have in your family? In mine, it's the times we get together and eat together. Brack, you know why I'm here, right? Yes, yeah, so you want to see who has the best burger in the city. Do you have it? I do, and What's I think it called? it's called the Uncle Lauren Burger. How long you let that cook for? I prefer medium rare, so it should be about three percent. I prefer medium. medium well. Well, then you're not gonna like this. I'm it's gonna taste like a broken nose. Yeah, what the hell's a broken nose taste like? Have you ever broken your nose? No, look at this thing. Is this thing ever look broken? It's beautiful. Oh, wow. It tastes like a whole bunch of different flavors all mulled together. It's very eclectic. It's really, really good. We butter the bun. We get that toasted real quick. What goes into your beef burger here? Grass-fed chuck, a natural Angus brisket and short rib. All together? All together. We're just going to start warming up the pastrami. And what kind of cheese do you put on there? We're going to use Jarlsberg Swiss. Where does this come from, this Jarlsberg? This one is Irish, but it's probably Scandinavian. It's Irish? Jarlsberg is Irish? This one is, yeah. And this is the slaw you put on top? Yep. And what goes into your coleslaw? Well, we, do a, we do a citrus slaw, and then we add a little bit of uh, sweetened mayonnaise and sour cream to it to cream it up. Thousand Island dressing. The Uncle Lauren The Uncle burger. Lauren, which I'm saying is one of the best burgers in New Orleans. And right? this is your contender? Yes. This is the one that's going to win it all for yes. you? Well, buddy, Three. let's go sit down and get started. I would say it's the best burger in New Orleans. The Uncle Lauren Burger is hardcore. It's a complicated blend of unpredictable flavor. The Angus brisket sweet rib patty is smothered in hot delectable pastrami. The Jarlsberg is light and buttery, but it's countered with the sharp tang of creamy slaw. This burger makes me think the real Uncle Lauren is the kind of guy that could kick my butt. Man, Brock, this burger is outstanding. And I'm so happy I came down here, buddy. So happy. Thanks, Chris. But it's not up to me, my friend. You know why I'm here? I'm here to find the best burger in New Orleans. And is this the best burger in all of New Orleans? This is the best burger in New Orleans by far. I have a disease, and the only prescription is cowbell. I need more cowbell. Best in Chow, it's time to crown the burger champion of New Orleans. This is exactly what a burger should be. It's awesome. Look at the bottom of the plate. One bite. <laughs> when life gives you burgers, your life is awesome, especially in New Orleans. This place takes the meaning of a food city to a whole other level. I found the three contenders for this burger war. It's a DIY destroyer versus some basic brilliance versus medium rare maximum toppings. Now it's time for the people of New Orleans to decide. Do you want to be one of my judges? Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Yep, I can do that. I would love it. Absolutely. You're gonna eat a lot of burgers. A lot of burgers. And you're gonna pick a favorite today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I rounded up these judges and watched them do unspeakable things for Mardi Gras beans. So I know they're hungry to crown a winner. All right, judges, are you ready for some hamburgers? Yeah! Can I count on you? Yeah! We're gonna get it done! Yeah! Then let's go! Let's go! Begin! It's amazing. Juicy, delightful. Each taste bud is taking a bath right now of just heaven. It's amazing. Awesome. Really tasty cheese on it. What a bite. You're not eating it quick enough. There we go. All right, judges, what are you waiting for? Let's go! It is like the pinnacle of classic. I don't have time to so. Bun's great, pickle's great. It's really good. It's amazing. I love it. This is exactly what a burger should be. You know what? I think the burger actually speaks for itself, man. All right, David, moving on. 
Vegan. Lord, Lord, my taste buddies are happy. Nice and juicy. You kidding? Look. <laughs> I love it. It's like melting in my mouth. Delicious. It's awesome. Look at the bottom of the plate. All I can say is it's all good. Juicy, awesome. It's like a full course meal in one bite. That's the way it should be, right? Mm. The time for talk is over. Now we see who is the winner of Burger Wars New Orleans. Welcome to Best in Chow Burger Wars New Orleans, the finale. Yay! Let's meet our competitors one more time. From Phil's Grill, it's Chef Phil. I think we had a great chance to win. Those guys are chasing me. I'm the godfather of the burger movement in New Orleans. From Kyle Bell, it's Chef Barack. Of course we're going to win. Our chances are excellent, always. And from the company burger, it's Chef Adam. We just do what we do, and I think we do what we do better than anyone in, definitely in the city and probably the country. My judges have sampled each selection, and they voted for the one they like the best. These burgers are outstanding. Congratulations. New Orleans, you are very lucky to have them. But sadly, there can only be one. The winner of Burger Wars New Orleans is... Chef Barack and Cowbell! Yay! Here you go, congratulations, my friend! My guys will be super psyched. Did you really think you could pull this off? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. We're off in second to my man up here, but we're psyched today. We'll do it. Well, you're first today. Thank you. Uncle Lord, that's burger in the oil. You're gonna crush it. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd get it. Oh, I knew man. we'd get you the curse to do it. First time. We had it together for so long. <laughs> and right at the end. That's it not what happened to me. Awesome. Damn. Oh. Bleep it. Can we blur? Unblur. Check us out at cmt.ca slash bestinchow.